proposed legislation that would require Minnesota registered voters to have a current photo ID is coming under fire by, from some people. A panel of Minnesota advocacy organizations discussed the issue with Bemidji residents tonight. Jamil Donath joins us live in the studio with more. Jamil? Dennis, supporters of the photo ID bill say that the law will ensure election integrity and deter voter fraud. However, more than 30 organizations that are part of the Minnesota Voting Rights Coalition say any legislation requiring photo ID disenfranchises already registered voters who don't need or have a photo ID. Voting, it's a right in the United States, not a privilege. But Minnesota advocacy groups say a proposed legislation that would require voters to show photo ID at the polls is suppressing that right. If we actually had to comply with uh, voter ID, I'm afraid that a lot of people in rural Minnesota wouldn't have that opportunity. Members of the more than 30 organizations that represent the Minnesota Voting Rights Coalition spoke to Bemidji residents Thursday night about how a proposed constitutional amendment could hinder Minnesota's most vulnerable from voting. Voter ID can affect many people in many different forms. It's not just getting that ID. Election experts presented a number of studies showing 11 percent of registered voters in Minnesota don't have photo ID, especially minority groups, the disabled, the poor, and rural residents. Any person who's not able to get that voter ID easily or uh, free um, could be affected by this. With unemployment around 50 percent on reservations in northern Minnesota and a lack of public transportation in rural areas, getting a photo ID is expensive and a major hassle. They have to come up with the cost to actually transport themselves from their home, which is sometimes 90 mile round trip. And Minnesota Voting Rights Coalition officials say with a strong election system and no reported voter fraud in Minnesota, why change something that isn't broken? Why do we want to burden the right to vote for no apparent reason? Minnesota Governor Mark Dayton vetoed one bill already proposing a voto ID to vote because it was not bipartisan. Governor Dayton formed a committee of elected officials to discuss how to modernize Minnesota election laws. With the proposed constitutional amendment requiring registered voters to have photo ID as part of those discussions. Back to you, Dennis. Okay, thank you very much, Jamil. The committee is expected to have a proposal by January of 2012, but members can continue to meet until January 2013 if there are any loose ends. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.